Lawrence Okole versus Mikhail Chislak. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds in the cruiserweight division to take place on the 27th of February. February 27, 2022. Okole will be defending his WBO title. Uh, the fight will be taking place over at the O2 Arena in the UK. Uh, to my understanding, there's some renovations currently going on over at the O2. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there hasn't really been any updates about if the arena, uh, if the O2 will be ready for this fight. I think it will be though, because I think in one week, I think they'll be able to fix it. I, at least I hope so. Hopefully that this fight does not get postponed. Anyway, fight will be shown live around the world on the zone. So tune into the zone if you want to see this fight. Except if you live in Australia, New Zealand, for whatever reason, it won't be live on the zone there. And uh, yeah, before I talk about who I, I think will win, Lawrence Okoli, 29 years old from the UK, 17 and 0, 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO, coming off a knockout win against Dylan Presovich back in September 2021. And uh, yeah, he's. Currently ranked number three by the Ring Magazine, and he holds one of the four recognized belts with that WBO strap, which he will be defending uh, come the 27th of February. Uh, Mikhail Chislak, on the other hand, a 32 year old fighter from Poland with a record of 21 wins, one loss, 15 wins, coming by way of knockout or TKO. Chislak's one and only loss came from Ilunga Makabu, who currently holds the WBC belt. Since then, he's won two fights in a row, winning against Taylor Mak Mabika and Yuri Chachinsky back in May of last year and now here he is fighting in the UK I believe for the first time yep for fighting the UK for the first time for a world title against Lawrence Okoli. Uh Chislak is up there in the rankings he is considered uh, number eight by the The Ring magazine and he is also considered number two by the WBO WBA used to have him at number nine, but they dropped him out of the rankings recently. I don't know why, but uh, you know he's he's uh, definitely a top contender, no doubt about it. In my mind, well, after watching some footage of him, he definitely has a shot here, in my opinion. I think he he has a decent shot, um, but in the end, when it comes down to it, skills pay the bills, and in my opinion, Lawrence Okoli is the better skilled fighter with that jab, with his footwork, and uh, his ring IQ. But I think if Chislak can, with his toughness, power, and explosiveness, if he can catch a Coley clean, it will be very interesting. I think Chislak definitely has the power to hurt a Coley. And it's just a matter of actually catching him. And, you know, I think Chislak has what it takes to make this fight competitive. But I don't think it will be enough to actually win the fight. I think a Coley will fight a smart fight. Uh, pick his shots, move around, um, you know, hold what he needs to whenever Chase Lock comes in. I think Chase Lock has a better inside game, but uh, I think I think we will see the old Okoli here, <laughs> where he's going to hit and hold, hit and hold. I think that's what we're going to see here. I think Okoli needs to play it safe. If he decides to let his hands go and, you know, take risk, that will give a lot of opportunities for Chase Lock to send, land something clean, and we will have ourselves a much more competitive fight. Um but we'll see, man. We'll see. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm leaning towards Okoli, but Chislak definitely has a chance. And plus, Okoli has a hometown advantage. You know, the crowds will be cheering him on. Fans will be cheering him on. So, um, Okoli has that advantage as well. So, I think the chef for the fight will most likely go the distance. Um, I think both fighters have the chin to, to, um, to handle it. I think maybe will there be a chance for a knockdown? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's a cruiserweight division, 200 pounds, big guys. Uh, but I think chances are we'll most likely go the distance with Okoli winning by decision 8 rounds to 4. But we'll see. We will see. Looking forward to uh, uh, a good night of boxing. Keep in mind the 27th is on a Sunday. So keep that in mind, not a Saturday. So Sunday, February 27th, tune in to The Zone if you want to see this fight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Again, I'm picking Okoli. Uh, let me know. Who your picks are who your pick is in the comment section below thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks